In order to fully understand how we save you money on your waste expenses, I think it's important for you to understand the five basic components of your waste disposal cost. Capital equipment, collection, disposal, overhead, and profit. Let's take a look at each one, beginning with capital equipment. With equipment, there's two things that are gonna determine the, the cost associated with the equipment. It's gonna be the type of equipment and the size of the equipment. So if you have an open top container, if you have a compactor, the cost is gonna be much different if you have a front load dumpster, which is the kind of dumpster that you've seen before that lifts over the, the top of the trucks. And then you have the size of the equipment. So taking an open top, a 30 yard dumpster, a 30 yard open top rather versus a 40 yard, the cost is gonna be more with a 40 yard because there's gonna be more waste in there. Just like with the front end load dumpster, if you have a six yard dumpster versus an eight yard, it's gonna be more expensive to get rid of the trash in that eight yard dumpster. Second is collection. Cost of collection is determined by three things, distance, time, and frequency. So the distance is the distance between their transfer station or where they have their trucks and how far they have to go and get it. Next you have time. How long does it take for them once they're there? Do they have to open up a corral? Um, how complicated, how far back on your property is your dumpster? That's gonna be a factor in the cost. And then the frequency. If they're going one, two, three, four, five times a week, it's gonna, the cost is gonna be dependent on how often they actually come to your facility to pick up your waste. The third component is disposal. Cost of disposal is determined by three things, volume or capacity, uh, secondly, weight, and then lastly, the type of waste. And so the volume is the amount of waste that's actually in that dumpster, so the size of the container. Secondly is weight. When the hauler takes your trash to the landfill, they get on a scale and it's, the weight is determined, and the more weight they have, the more they're charged. And so the more weight that you have, the more you are charged. And then lastly is the type of waste. So if you have regular waste, it's gonna be calculated differently than if you had a recyclable like cardboard, or if you had a special type of waste that had to go to a special landfill, those types of waste streams are almost always gonna be more expensive than regular waste. The fourth component of cost is overhead. The cost of overhead is determined by SG&A, to use an accounting term, which is selling, general, and administrative cost. And these are the costs that a hauler would incur to sell, to have to run the, everything internally with their admin and with their staff. And the last component, finally, is profit. And this is the amount that the hauler chooses to add on to the four other costs to determine their profit. And this is the number that we are typically working with in order to identify ways to reduce your cost. So as experts in the waste industry, knowing these five components that go into determining the cost associated with your waste, we're able to determine and verify that you're only paying what you need to be paying.